Hey everyone and a big happy Australia Day to my Aussie viewers out there. It is January 26th and for those of you who live overseas and don't know what Australia Day is, it's basically a day where we celebrate what it means to be an Australian and everything that makes our great country what it is. Uh, so we have a lot of fun, we get the day off work and we basically just celebrate uh, by drinking or by socializing and hanging out with our friends or just by relaxing and enjoying the day off uh, but either way um, it's a nationwide holiday and we really get into it. I've made it somewhat of a tradition uh, to do an Aussie slang video on Australia Day. I guess you could call it a tradition anyway, I'm going to. Uh, I only started it last year and I'm doing it again this year. Um, this is actually my third Aussie slang video because uh, I did one kind of halfway in between. You would think that I would have run out of slang words by now but in actual fact so many people respond to my videos with more and I'm like oh yeah I forgot about that so uh, I have plenty to go for quite a lot of videos in the future if need be um, so this video I kind of wanted to make it a bit fun and add some of some of the more frequently used words that we use out here all right so in previous videos I have covered off that we're very lazy fundamentally uh, just by our very nature <laughs> and we'll try and shorten pretty much any word that we can think of well not well not any word but you know there are a lot of words that we just shorten and we add the letter O at the end of it so uh, you can watch my previous videos if you don't know what I mean uh, that'll make a lot more sense um, but I've been given a list my sister helped me out with this one actually she's pretty good at this game so vegetarian becomes vego <laughs> Uh, I think I covered this one in another video, but documentary becomes doco. Journalist becomes a journo. Uh, if you're pregnant, you're prego. <laughs> um, an aggressive person or someone that's, um, that's quite hostile is aggro. Uh, a business is bizo or, you know, mind your bizo, mind your business. Uh, if you're intoxicated or drunk, blotto. I don't ask where that one came from, it's just a thing that we say. And a thing becomes a thingo, although in that case it's actually not shortening it, we're, we're kind of adding a letter to it, but you know, sometimes we do that too. We also have different words for different occupations as well, so uh, I think overseas you'll call it a tradesman or something like that. We call tradesmen tradies. Uh, so again, we shorten it and uh, different types of tradies will have different uh, nicknames, I guess, or, or words that we use to call them. So an electrician, for instance, becomes a sparky, um, <laughs> a bricklayer becomes a bricky, and a carpenter is known as a chippy. Uh, yeah, I don't know why we do this. <laughs> Uh, but they're really common terms, so you can say it to anyone and they'll know what you're talking about. One thing about Aussies is that we actually love to use the word bloody. And we don't use it as in like a bloody scene of a crime. We will say it as in bloody oath or bloody hell or, you know, you can actually put that word in front of a whole lot of things and some of it's not PG, so I'm not going to say it. Um, but yeah like we use it as I guess a term of expression uh, so that makes us very Aussie if you hear us say that um, bloody oath is a big one uh, that just means like I wanted to say fair dinkum then that's another Aussieism. so bloody oath fair dinkum it all means yeah you know you're right we had an Australian tourism campaign just like a couple of years ago or a few years ago now that had where the bloody hell are you as our catch as our catch cry and I guess that's kind of accurate, like I don't use a lot of Australian slang personally but I do actually find myself using that word probably like more often than I care to admit to be honest. I don't say it all the time uh, but I don't think I use a lot of slang at all and sometimes I find myself saying it so it's catchy. Out here when our year 12s finish high school and they graduate they uh, often go on something called schoolies. Uh, which is uh, I guess the equivalent of like what Americans call spring break I guess like I don't know is spring break every single year or is that just when you graduate um, but yeah so they go away or they you know so they might go um, up north or they might go overseas sometimes uh, for their schoolies break 
and uh, basically just get drunk the whole time and, and act act out. And then on the flip side of that, you also get what we call toolies who go to schoolies breaks and these are like usually old seedy men or just people that are causing trouble or trying to I guess pick up the young girls and uh, you know we always tell people to avoid them but yeah we call them toolies so um, yeah <laughs> And that has been another Aussie slang video. Um, I'm happy to do more of these in the future if you want to uh, continue to see more of these just let me know. Um, I'm sure we can dig up plenty more words uh, where that came from. There's always more. Uh, so yeah that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to uh, add any comments please add them below and uh, I will comment back as soon as I get a minute. And if you're not yet subscribed to my videos, then perhaps you should. And you'll be notified when I bring out new videos now twice a week. Uh, that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And I will talk to you real soon. Bye.